This video is going to demonstrate how to install the belt shifter, which is the part you see in my hand, on an antique Singer treadle sewing machine base. It fits onto the top of the dress guard, also known as a flywheel guard. There's two versions. This is the older <laughs> version, which is round, and then there's also an oval version, which was newer from 1900s to 1920s, up, I guess into the 30s. Um, when you get it from me, the spring and screw are already installed on the part as it should be, but just to show you in case you get from someone else or everything falls uh, comes off when you take it out of the bag, the spring has a, 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 a little loop there which hits on this part of the belt shifter. So it fits in here like this. So you can see how that is. And then you have a little tab here on the bottom. That's going to hit the part of the dress guard. Then you take your screw and you should put a little oil, dab of oil, dot or two, um, before you put the screw in. And next you have the dress guard or flywheel guard. Mine's loose, but it would be installed on the cabinet. Uh, in the upright position. You can see it's got a screw hole in the top and then this tab which is when it's on there it rests into place like this. But you have this part of the spring which is supposed to flip on there. So you you kind of put it so it rests in front and then you can put part of your screw in. Just turn it about a half a turn so it's into the threads. Then you can work this over the top and do it a little bit and then press it down now's a good time to start to put the screw in just a little bit not a whole lot but just to make sure it's into the threads because you want to make sure you don't pinch your spring underneath you can see there's a little gap in there and you want to get your spring up onto the shifter and basically kind of work it down so it's into place. Take your screwdriver and then crank it in the rest of the way. Test it. And you can see it's in working order. So you have one part of the spring loop up here, and then the other tab hits it here on the face. And that should help you.